Hey guys, it's Crystal Lee Moore Lucier here, also known as your home sweet home 519 realtor. Crystal Lee Moore, and I wanted to share today something that's important, whether you are a realtor, whether you're an entrepreneur, a person walking around living life, and that is about keeping your energy up when things around you may not be matching that up motivation. So as we get into the colder months, especially as it gets chilly and dark, it's really hard to keep that motivation going. And Zig Ziglar says that motivation is like bathing. It does not last, so you need to do it daily. So what does that really mean? How can you keep that energy up? Because really, the only thing you have for certain is you. So you have your energy, and that's kind of what dictates how your day will go. Things can happen, but how you react to them will really be about you and the strength that you build up inside. So a couple of tips. Um, number one, staying hydrated. So it might seem like a small thing, but hydration is a big deal and being dehydrated can actually deplete your energy and just make you feel ugh. So hydration. The next thing is routine. So do you have like morning routines are a big deal, but is there a set thing? Like let's say you know that you need to call five clients a day or you need to have your coffee in the morning and journal. Whatever your routine is, try to keep that up because that's kind of something that will be a good anchor for your day. Uh, movement, so moving your body, and we can kind of go down the rabbit hole of the perfect workout and the exercise and here you should do this and this and this, but ultimately, just move your body. Go for a walk, do some strength training, do some yoga, whatever it is, move your body because your body needs the movement. It's kind of just like a, a little reward. Uh, even if it doesn't feel like it, the couch might seem more comfortable, but going for a walk will also make you feel better. Vitamin D. So as it gets colder and kind of yuckier and darker, we don't get as much sunlight. And someone just recently told me that kind of the blue zones, the places in the world where people live the longest, they're very they have a lot of exposure to sun, to natural foods, um, low stress, breathing, all of that stuff. Um, slow breathing. Everyone, obviously, if you're living, you're breathing. Um, but as far as the vitamin D, take some extra vitamin D, or there's even like lights that you can get that can be helpful for that as well. And a lot of people will deal with seasonal affective disorder. So the the extra sunlight is a good idea and if you see that it's sunny outside get out there even if it's cold just like 15 minutes of sun a day is really good for you and learning so whether it is we are in a learning age whether it's a podcast whether it is reading a good book um i currently am reading um, I just started Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Thank you to my awesome colleague, Mina, for suggesting it. It was on my shelf from my amazing friend, Kellyanne, who gave it to me years ago, uh, but I've just picked it up. And it really just depends. There's podcasts that are amazing. You can take courses like Coursera, edX, uh, Udemy. There's all of these places that you can just learn. And if you're willing to put the time in, you can really just improve your experience, improve your knowledge, um, have a little bit more to talk about than the latest thing on TikTok. Not to diss TikTok though, because kind of most of the cool cooking, hair ideas, and uh, travel hacks have been coming from TikTok. So thank you TikTok for all you do. Um, that's it. So hydration, routine, movement, vitamin D, and learning. And of course, trying to smile and laugh um, every day as much as you can really does help. If you have any questions about the real estate market, about real estate investing, buying a house, selling a house, all of that stuff, I am here to help and I would love to chat. I am Crystal Lee Moore Lucier, your home sweet home 519 realtor, Crystal Lee Moore. Bye guys.